This is insulin. <laughs> Contrary to what the bigwigs who charge me bucket loads of cash for it think, I and many others need this strange little drug to eat food and handle other basic necessities. There's a pen you take before meals and there's a pen you take at the beginning of every day. If I were to ever go without either of these for a couple days, I'd be fucking dead. I'd die of a heart attack or some kind of stroke. It's one of the most annoyingly fatal diseases out there and that's probably why there are no diabetic isekai protagonists. That and diabetes is fucking lame. Let's not kid ourselves here. There's a reason that the only diabetic representation in media is fucking Scott Malkinson. No, but sort of. The moment someone with type 1 diabetes gets dropped into generic fantasy world number 2513, it's wraps. Immediately. They wouldn't make it to episode 2. They wouldn't even be able to buy their first cat girl slave. What? But, with that being said, what fantasy world would they be able to last the longest in? Or, better question for this video, what fantasy world would have the most interesting strategy for surviving? Hmm, I wonder what this video is. I now direct your attention to the world of Dungeon Meshi, or Delicious in Dungeon if you don't like being a weeaboo, an anime about food that doesn't have people's clothes exploding off their bodies whenever they eat something. It follows Lyos Toden and his ragtag group of adventuring buddies, Marcel, Cholchuk, Senshi, and Itsumi, among others. In the world of Dungeon Meshi, adventurers primarily work within dungeons, but what's so special about the dungeon that Lyos and crew travel through is the fact that it's ever-changing. It evolves as time goes on, with new creatures, new locations, and harsher environments. For a brief summary, Laos' sister Fallon dies when the party attempts to face a grand red dragon. Don't worry, happens in episode 1, not a huge spoiler, and the show's first season is all about trying to get her body back for a resurrection ritual. In order to get deeper within the dungeon on more sparse resources, the group has an epiphany. What if, instead of relying on the food that they get up on the surface, they instead cook and eat the monsters they fight as they push further down in the dungeon's depths? The series delves into every single aspect of food. How it's important to get three straight meals a day if it's wrong to eat other intelligent creatures, and the depraved things humans will do out of desperation. But a noticeable issue that has yet to be addressed in Season 1 is someone with Type 1 Diabetes! What the f*** man, where's my representation? I want to feel special! You already are special, f***ing loser. So that's what this video is about. What's happening? It's your boy Diddy, welcome to Diddy Minis, a show where I talk about pieces of media just interesting enough for a 10 minute video. I think I might want to change the slogan for Diddy Minis. Because this is very clearly not 10 minutes. How long can a diabetic person survive based purely on the food provided within the dungeon of Dungeon Meshi? For this question, I have created a chart which I'll be placing all the monster food cooked within Season 1 on. It's got four categories. No insulin needed, fine with exercise, heart palpitation central, and instant diabetic heart attack. No insulin needed is self-explanatory. It's super low carb and super low sugar, so you can just eat it and be fine. An example of stuff like this would be like grilled chicken or salmon, you know, real white suburban mom shit, right? Dry ass, no sides, no spice, no nothing. The next category would be fine with exercise, you know, meaning you could probably eat it as long as you do some heavy cardio. Heart Palpitation Central is for foods that, even with exercise, will have you pissing like a fire hose from the pure amount of sugar and carb intake that you'll eat. And finally, Instant Diabetic Heart Attack is for foods that will genuinely just fucking kill you. A couple things to note before we get on- Excuse me. A couple things to note before we get onto the rankings, this will only cover food shown in the anime and it won't be in sequential order, it'll be in alphabetical order instead. Uh, from this point onward as well, the video will be entirely unscripted as I plan to guesstimate the amount of carbs, sugars, and proteins in each dish completely off the top of my head. So if I stutter a lot and sound like I'm not reading off a script right now, that's because, you know, uh, I'm not. But after the food gets ranked, I'll see how many foods end up being safe or relatively safe to eat and determine how long I think a diabetic person could survive. 
As this is meant to be more fun than anything else, keep in mind there's a lot of other circumstantial stuff that really doesn't matter when dealing with like just the pure hypotheticalness of this video. Stuff like the quantity of the food, the quality of the food, and whether or not you get ass blasted by bandits in your time in the dungeon. Stuff like that obviously would be a variable which we're not looking at. Indu. God damn, boy. Drop your fucking balls. Uh, finally, not a dietitian. These are just guesstimates. It's just for fun. Uh, I'm just someone who has to read a lot of nutritional info because if I don't, uh, I'm fucking cooked. I uh, think that about covers everything, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's move on to the food. <sighs> okay, so let's get to reviewing some dishes. Now I'm completely off script. Uh, and I'm going to stutter a lot and say a lot of stupid stuff that I'll probably have to blur later, so hey, I gotta make a mental note to not swear so I don't have to do that because I'm lazy. We got the Dungeon Wiki pulled up. We're gonna go ahead and start this monster meal tier list with uh, a Japanese dish. So this is an Eastern meal. This was what uh, I think Shiro ate this at one point. It's like you got some, some fish. Rice balls, or sorry, jelly donuts. Nothing beats a jelly filled mm, donut. Mm, mm. I think we're gonna throw that into Heart Palpitation Central. Without insulin, the the rice balls definitely they definitely got a lot going on for them there. Uh, I will say the fish saves it because the fish is protein and it's, it has virtually no carbs. It is a superfood, but the rice balls definitely gonna get a lot get a lot of carbs in there. Next up, we got the Baromet's Bollet. Uh, okay, so that's meat. I'm not sure what the sauce is. All right, so right away, it looks like there's some glaze on the meat. I'm not sure if that was intentional, but it looks like there's some glaze. And me personally, I've had that glazed meat from like Chinese food and shit, you know, the boneless spare ribs, and they fuck me up. So I think, I think that because it has some protein in it, we could probably put it in heart palpitation in central and be, and be fine. Um, it, it's not a good idea to eat probably, but you know, you could throw it in there. You'd probably be, you'd probably be fine. Boiled Mimic, <laughs> like from Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Ooh, you suck. This is just crab legs. Yeah, this is just crab legs. Hold on, how many carbs do, am I allowed to cross reference like real life food? Is that okay? Let's see, how many carbs does a lobster Zero! Damn. Oh shit! Okay! Okay, Mimic, I see you! Looking out for the diabetics! There you go! I'm gonna throw this in no insulin needed. I think you can eat this perfectly fine. I think that is totally okay. I'm gonna leave it a little bigger, because I doubt we'll get that many of those, but... Yeah! Wow! We got, we got one so far, we got one so far. Next up, we got the Boneless Dragon Ham. Mmm, okay, so this is from the red dragon that they killed. Um, hmm, okay. So I've been judging this so far based on meals, but this this is a special case because this isn't really a meal, it's more of like a like a ration sort of thing. So I think if, if you were to eat a whole ham, a whole ass ham, that's a bit much, even with the, the low amount of carbs that ham has. Plus, it could be glazed at something. I think I'm gonna put this in fine with exercise. I think, I think that'd be a little too much for for doing nothing with. But yeah. Next up, we got the breakfast made by Senshi. Ooh, ooh, yeah. You got one sausage and coffee. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. My thought process for this is that it is 90% carbs. My coffee's probably got some sugar in it. I think I'm gonna throw this an in instant diabetic heart attack. I think, wow, the, the first food on here, and it's not even from a monster, it's from fucking Senshi. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think that you'd have a tough time eating that one, especially with how many how many pancakes there are, and like, that, that pie's gotta be fucking awful for you. Uh, next up, we get the candied mandrake. Okay, so that is clearly some kind of glaze, right? Like, I'm talking Playboy Cardi fan glaze, what? right? But it's just the one, and it looks pretty tiny judging by the hand that's holding it up. Um, I think if you just eat one heart palpitation central, I think it's too small of a dose to kill you, but 
it, it's definitely on the heavier side of sugar for sure. Next up, we got the Changeling Dumplings from Fairy Ring. Okay, I remember these. I remember these. I don't remember what's in them though. Da -da -da. Lots of reading, lots of text. Uh, not reading all that. Okay, one filled with meat, a cheese filled one, and a sweet one. Okay. With that in mind, uh, gonna throw that in Heart Palpitation Central. I know, shocker. Seems to be the big winner of this this little tier list thing. But uh, yeah, um, sorry, my little spray went off for the room. But th my reasoning for this is that cheese has a lot of carbs. Uh, the wrapping that the dumplings are in probably aren't helping, helping things too much. And that sweet one's gotta have some sugar in it, baby. And we don't fuck with sugar around here. We are sugar-free household. We got the Court Cuisine Full Course Meal. Let's see here. Oh my god. Well, I see some steak. See a mullet, or maybe that's a rabbit leg or something. We got some cheese, some raisins. Some, some bread. Yeah, this is... And the wine. Oh my god, the wine would fuck you up. And the grapes. If you were- Okay, yeah. Instant diabetic heart attack. Oh my god, you would kill- you would kill- you would kill me. If- if you had me eat that in its entirety. Jesus Christ. Esbian style cockatrice and dryad bud sauerkraut. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Okay. Alright. So we've got- what are those? Pickles? Oh. Pickles or cucumbers? Uh, they- they kind of have the same amount of carbs, I think. We got some spinach, or those are the those are the dryad sauerkrauts. I bet. Okay, so that's plant materials, right? Like that can't have too much in it. And then we got the the cockatrice, which is like chicken, grilled chicken. Yeah, yeah. I would I would say no, it's only needed. I think I think you could probably eat that. Oh, but the bread rolls though. Okay, with the with the bread rolls, I'm gonna put fine with exercise. But but this one's not bad. This one's not bad. You could low key you could low key eat that. Okay, next we got the exorcism. Exorcism Sorbet and Jesus Tap Dancing Christ. You Whew. That looks like I I I got it. You know where it's going. You know where it's going. Instant diabetic heart attack, baby. Get the fuck in there. Next we got the field ration pellet. Is ball of powder meant to be consumed with water? Hmm. Fine with exercise, maybe? Because it's kind of like a diet powder, right? But in ball form, so it's like a slim fast. All right, next we got the fifth floor meal. This is a set of dishes. Okay. Hmm. This looks like Carb City. Let's look what's actually in it, though. Okay, so we got pie laugh prepared by the centuries. We got bite-sized meat and vegetables cooked with rice over low heat. So the piccata made by chill trucks. It's the cockatrice meat. Okay, so that's meat. And then you got the eggs. Okay. It's not that bad. Ooh, but then the dessert. I'm gonna say it's a toss-up between heart palpitation central and instant diabetic heart attack. I'm gonna say because of the carbs, uh, we're gonna throw in an instant diabetic heart attack. I think, I think your chances are pretty slim eating that. All right, next we got freshly stolen vegetables and chicken. All right, well this is kind of just human food. Um, if you're eating all of this. Instant diabetic heart attack. You could probably get away with some of the cockatrice meat, and that's it. But definitely going in instant diabetic heart attack. Wow, instant diabetic heart attacks making a fucking comeback here. Jesus Christ. Next, we got frog stew. This is from the episode where they all dress up as frogs. Oh no, this is frog suit. I apologize. <laughs> Am I supposed to rank this? I mean, I guess it's technically a dish. I don't know. Uh, I feel like that would kill anyone just eating it, but uh, specifically diabetic people, I mean, um, you wouldn't get a heart attack, but you definitely die attempting to eat that. So yeah, we're going to throw it in instant diabetic heart attack. Granted, it takes some time to chew, but that, that was very satisfying. All right, next we got giant parasite from giant kraken. That looks like pure meat, baby! I think we got another one from the no insulin tier! Let's fucking get it! Representation, bitch! Next we got Golden Castle Meal. So this is from... I think this is the one where... Yes, so... This is the painting one, right? No, this is the one where they're all immortal. Okay. It's got the Minotaur meat, and then it's got some weird gelatin. And then it's got... 
some sort of egg mixture of food. I think I'm gonna put this one. Ooh, that gelatin though. Ugh, this one's going. That yeah, this one's going an instant diabetic heart attack because it's got. I think it's got some barbecue on those ribs too. Uh, next up, we got the Golem Field Fresh Veggie Lunch. This one looks pretty good. You got the broth in there. You got the meat, mostly veggies. Um, the veggies might have a little bit of carbs. That's the thing I'm worried about. I I think this one would be fine. I think you can Loki probably eat this one. Um. It's the, it's the amount of meat that, or, or food, I guess, is the, is the thing that would concern me the most. I think, I think we're going to throw it in fine with exercise, just to be safe, but, but this one's pretty all right. I feel like you can get by with this one. Uh, next we got the Griffin Soup. <laughs> uh, is this just meat? Here, let's check. Determine the soup if you ate to survive was really Griffin meat and not the Grizzly alternative. Yes, yes, I do remember this one. Oh uh, yeah, this one's fine. This one, this one's our third no insulin needed. It's just meat and water pretty much. With some seasoning. Yeah, yeah, throw that in no insulin needed. Okay, next up we got grilled kelpie. Okay. So the iron rich liver to Marcel, who, get the f out of here, Sanofi. I think we've got another, cause like kelpie meat is basically like horse, right? It's like horse meat, huh? right? I think this one's fine. I think, I mean, I've never tried eating a horse, but I can't imagine it's too much different. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no insulin needed on this one. I think, I think you would be fine eating this one as a diabetic. I think you'd be cool. All right, which one were we at? We were at the, I think it was the hippogriff soup. Let's take a look, see. Looks like meat and water. No insulin needed, boom, love to see it. The way this is looking like more and more plausible, I, I started this video thinking that it wasn't gonna be possible. Loki, you might not be super good. Next, we got the hip griff soup dumplings. Okay, okay. So the first thing is the breading around the dumplings. That's obviously got some carbs in it. Who the fuck texted me? I just love my dog. So anyway, yeah, the, the bread around the dumplings probably have a bit of carbs in them. Uh, is there anything filled in them? It's got meat and vegetables. Uh, fine with exercise. It's bordering on heart palpitation central, but I think, I think fine with exercise is where we're gonna go ahead and throw that bad boy in there. Next up, we have huge scorpion and walking mushroom hot pot. This is like one of the first dishes they make, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, so we got the scorpion meat, and then we got the mushrooms, and then it looks like we got some, looks like we got some minor vegetables in there, like, like onions and spinach. So eating this whole thing with the slime noodles, I think probably heart palpitation central, but definitely not the worst thing you could be eating. Next up, we got ice golem savory egg custard, egg custard and cooked fish. Okay, so right away the custard immediately throwing this bitch in instant diabetic heart attack, uh, simply because custard is super duper high in sugar, but the cooked fish it's, it's, it's not that bad. Like if you ate just the cooked fish, you'd probably be fine. Next up, the jack-o'-lanterns. Okay, so this is tough, right? Do we count the pumpkin head? Do we count the head? Even without the head, probably heart attack central purely because of the sugar on that glazed little stud over there. Next up, we got Kelpie oil soap. This is, a, this is a soap. Yes. <laughs> You're not supposed to eat that usually. Uh, but that hasn't stopped us from ranking other things that you couldn't eat before. We're gonna go ahead and throw that bitch in. Instant diabetic heart attack. Diabetics, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you can't eat soap. No! Alright, next we got the... The dragon cutlet. Uh, morale boosting meal right before they... Okay, no, so this is the morale boosting meal before they fight the dragon. What the fuck? Breaded deep fried cutlets of giant frog. Okay, so this is the giant frog meat. Hmm. So it's breaded frog meat coated in wine with some carb sides. I think sadly, this is gonna go in heart palpitation central. I think potentially if you alter some things in the, in the dish, it could be fine with exercise, but we're gonna throw it in there. Next, we got the man eating plant tart. This is going in heart attack. <laughs> yeah, it took me one look to realize, yeah, that's going in heart attack tier. That shit has so much fucking sugar and carbs. Nope. Nuh-uh. Next up, we got the Mandrake and Basculus Omelette. 
Okay, so right away, I'm seeing a lot of meat, but also a lot of carbs, and that does in fact looks like looks like some glaze in there. I'm thinking I'm thinking somewhere between heart palpitation central and instant diabetic heart attack. I'm gonna put it in heart palpitation central just for the sake of why is so many doors being closed right now. I'm just gonna put it in there for the sake of just having more options there. You know what I mean? Next, we got the Mandrake Kagiyage and Giant Back Tempura. Hmm. That looks, that looks pretty carby. It's got shredded mandrake and marinated bat breast, coated in batter and deep fried in olive oil, tempura style. Hmm. I think that one might be fine with exercise. It sounds like it's just meat deep fried and deep frying isn't like, it's not egregiously bad. It, as long as you eat it by itself, which it looks like it is. I mean, there's just some spinach there. And that's about it. Okay, next up, we got naturally delicious treasure insect snacks. This ought to be good. Okay, so we've got the the candies from that one thing. The, the yeah, so the the coin mimics. This one's tough because it's it's metal, right? But it's also a bug. How many how many carbs? Let's just use like a cricket for reference. How many carbs does a cricket have? Mmm, okay, so per 100 grams of cricket. So there's a little bit of carbs in there. Potentially controversial decision. I think I'm gonna put this one in fine with exercise. Because it's, it, it's basically akin to eating like a bug. Now that I'm thinking about it, this is probably 100 grams of, this is probably more than 100 grams of, of bug. If you're gonna eat the whole thing, I'd put it in, in heart, palpita heart palpitation central. Yeah. Nightmare steamed in sake. Okay, I remember them I remember them going over this one, but I forget how it's made. Looks like it got it's got some clams in there. I'm gonna put this one in heart palpitation central. I think I think the sake really elevated up there. Yeah, that that one I might not be correct on, but I, I hey, it's whatever. The orc medicinal concoction. That looks like it'll fucking kill you even if you weren't diabetic. That looks like the dubious food from fucking Breath of the Wild. Yeah, that's going an instant diabetic heart attack. We might need to extend the borders of the fucking tier list. Porridge made from the grain that was just lying around. Very cool name for a fucking a dish. Let's see. I've seen some bacon there. I've seen some some other things that I don't quite like though. I think I'm gonna put this one in Heart Population Central. Uh, next up, we have portable meal set for adventurers. Okay, so this is very basic, bitch. You got some bread. You got some wine. Some meat. Looks like some 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 salt invention or something like that. And then you got the the nuts and the uh, oh. Oh, we got trail mix. Okay. Okay. I see you. I wasn't familiar with your game, Dungeon Meshi. I see you with the trail mix. That being said, uh, trail mix is really bad for you. Uh, if if you have the raisins in it. Without the raisins, it's it's not too bad. Overall, fine with exercise. Fine with exercise. Low key, I think I think it, it's, it's just enough carbs and sugars to where if you really do some heavy cardio, you could probably be fine. Next up, we got the red dragon meal. Okay, I've been waiting for this one. This one looks freaking delicious. Instant diabetic heart attack, sadly, because that's, this one looks really good. If you if you eat it without insulin, you are you are dead so, buddy. All right, next up, we got the risotto and mushrooms picked in a graveyard and cheese from the orcs. Let's see here. So you got some meat in there, okay? But the rest looks like, let's see, risotto is it's basically rice, right? I'd put it in heart palpitation central. Okay, so I've expanded the tier list a little, as you can see. Uh, it was getting a lot more full than I was anticipating. The Roast Basilisk. This is just grilled chicken. Easy. Easy, no insulin needed. Boom shakalaka. We got another one, boys. You love to see it. Next, we got the Rolled Harpy Egg Omelet. So these ones, it looks really carby, but it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of them in this. I'm gonna put it in, I'm gonna put it in fine with exercise. I think it's, 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 those are pretty small. Those are pretty small. You could probably get away with eating those. Next, we got the sky fish and chips. This is this is the one episode where they were using that that fish to fly around, basically. I'm gonna say no insulin needed. I'm gonna say no insulin needed because a it's made from familiar meat, right? So it, it has to be conjured up, and like you wouldn't conjure it with carbs in mind, right? Soul eggs Benedict. Okay, um, that looks like instant diabetic heart attack. Special interfaith holy water. Ugh. Brother, ugh. what's that, brother? A slap dash affair thrown together by Sentry to attempt to ward off ghosts with the added bonus of making a tasty, sh a tasty treat. 
He added a lot of sugar as a substitute. Oh no! Senshi, what are you doing? Oh no! Instant diabetic heart attack. Oh no, brother! Stone baked cockatrice and egg on cake. Okay, I remember this one. This one's the brick. That looks pretty bad to eat. Uh, I'll, I'll say that one's, um, I'm gonna say that's heart palpitation central. Next up, we have tentacle and kelpie stew prepared with undying, like from Undertale? Looks <laughs> like a lot of carbs. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put that in heart palpitation central. Next, we got the tentacle nachi. Mmm, okay, so this looks like food with some noodles. Well, duh, it's fucking food. It looks like some meat with some noodles. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this one's probably heart palpitation central. I think this one definitely is more on the carby side, thanks to the the noodles. Next, we got the tentacles with the vinegar, vinegar dressing. This looks like the last anime uh, food. And it's a fucking banana. Oh, these are pretty cool <laughs> bananas. Okay. Um... His hand is really red. No! My camera fucking died before I could finish the the fucking tier list. Nice. So, in the end, 7 out of 45 dishes were able to be edible without needing any insulin or heavy cardio. With that, that begs the question. How long can a diabetic person survive in Dungeon Meshi? Well, it doesn't matter. Resurrection exists. You can just get back up when you die. Boom! Tricked you, bitch! <laughs> the entire video was pointless! Good night, everybody!